welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and I'm currently here in Milan, Italy. I just arrived. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I was in Prague for four days and I just actually flew here this morning. It took around an hour and a half to fly from Prague to the Milan Malpensa airport, which is where I am right now. I just got out and I'm just chilling here for a quick second to figure out how to get to my hostel. I'm staying at the Yellow Square Hostel here in Milan. I'm actually here in Italy to meet up with my friends, Ariane and Claudia, who I met on exchange in Taiwan a few years ago and they just finished such a huge hike they did the tour du Mont Blanc and so I'm meeting up with them here for like a nice relaxing vacation hopefully our time in Italy is kind of divided so I'm meeting up with them now to explore Milan for today and then tomorrow we're actually headed over to Cinque Terre for three days and then we're gonna split ways after that and then I'm gonna head back to Milan for two days to kind of solo travel a little bit right now I need to go figure out how to get to my hostel from here I think there's an airport bus that takes me into the city but then from the city i need to figure out how to get to my hostel so i'm gonna go figure that out and i'll take you along with me for my trip here in milan just checked into my hostel i'm staying at the yellow square in milan and it's actually really nice i just walked in and dropped my stuff off the room's not ready yet so i'll be back after 3 p.m to go pick it up but right now i'm gonna go meet up with my friends ahian and claudia who i'm here to see i met them on exchange in taiwan two years ago and i've seen ahian in canada once but i've only seen claudia since then so i'm really excited to go to see them we're meeting up at the duomo to go check that out but i'm pretty hungry so i think i'm gonna grab a bite to eat first so i'm gonna go hop on the metro again back to the duomo Thank God it's like on the same metro line and then we'll see where the day takes us. first meal here in Italy was honestly incredible like pizza and pasta really does hit different here it's freaking delicious like I'm not one for thick crust pizza but that one was so freaking good I'm so happy right now and originally I wanted to go to this place called Panzerotti Luini which is like a really famous Panzerotti place but it was closed today when I got there so I ended up going to this pizza place that was also on my list like right next to it called Spontini and it was freaking delicious right now I'm walking through this mall and I'm gonna go over to the Duomo to go meet up with my friends who have just been like exploring this morning. I'm super excited. Go check out the Duomo. We got passes for the cathedral area and then also the rooftop. We got like the stairs pass. Oh my God, look at this mall. It's literally stunning. What the hell? Yeah, anyways, we will meet up with them. So I'm so excited to see them. Hopefully not get attacked by all the pigeons that are in the stupid cathedral square area. I already saw the cathedral obviously when I was coming out of the metro, but it was gorgeous. So very excited to explore the inside with them. So let's go meet up with my friends, Ariane and Claudia.
So now, and we are going down to the bar outside to grab a drink before we head to bed. We had a lot of fun today. We saw the Duomo. We went up. The rooftop is very beautiful. We went over to the Navili area, which is where the river is, and we got dinner by the water, which was really nice at this little restaurant, and we ate a lot of food. We're waiting for Alianne to come down. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get a drink, and then tomorrow we have to wake up early because we are going to Cinque Terre. Fast forward three days, I am back in Milan after a wonderful trip with my friends to Cinque Terre. We had so much fun there, so make sure to check that vlog out. It's probably coming up next, but yeah, I just got back to Milan. I am back in the Yellow Square hostel here in Milan. I just checked into my room, which I'll be staying in for the next two nights. It is very nice. This is a four-person room. Last time I was in an eight-person room. I'm in this bunk over here. And this is the washroom as well. It's really nice. I'm gonna head out to go explore Milan a little bit more. I want to check out the castle hopefully grab some food from Panzerati Luini which is a place that I wanted to check out last time but yeah I am back in Milan for the next few days I am thinking of exploring Milan today doing a little bit of sightseeing and then tomorrow I was thinking of heading over to Lake Como hopefully to go check that out I was planning to do a day trip like an organized day tour with like a Viator trip but after looking at the reviews are not that great and honestly I can do it by myself so I might just do that and take the train over to Como take the ferry across Lake Como and check that out by myself. That is kind of what I'm thinking right now. But yeah, I had really fun time with my friends in Cinque Terre. We split up to go our separate ways. Claudia's going home, Marianne's going to Florence, and I came back to Milan. So that is the plan. I have two nights here before my flight back to Canada. So this is the end of my trip, but I'm really excited to be back in Milan, do some exploring. So let's go. my first sightseeing spot of the day. I really wanted to go check out Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper, which is in a museum here. And I looked online, the tickets were sold out for like literally weeks in advance. And so I got here to try to see if they had any tickets, but they were completely sold out. So I won't be able to see it this time. Like the next time that they have is in like two weeks. And then after that, it's like booked out for another two months. So very, very, very busy. If you're planning to check it out, definitely buy tickets like way ahead of time because they are very easily sold out. Anyway, so I can't get go see that today but I checked out this church right here which is really beautiful which is right next to the museum so that was really nice but now I am headed over to the castle to go check that out. a little bit of Chinatown and got some bubble tea and just looked around the area and it's honestly like surprisingly like very authentic. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that but like, all the shops, all of, like the restaurants, it looked pretty legit which I was very impressed by but I guess that makes sense because I feel like a lot of Chinese people do come to Milan. It's a very popular destination for them so it makes sense that they have like a really good Chinatown here but I was very pleasantly surprised by that Chinatown like there's a lot that are like pretty fake and like definitely meant for like tourists or non-Chinese people to explore but that one like felt very legit so i'm very happy about that but right now i'm heading over to this monumental cemetery i don't know but my friends told me that it was interesting to check out so that's what i'm headed towards right now I checked out the Monumental Cemetery, which is actually really cool. There's some really impressive graves there that were built by really famous sculptors and architects. So that was really cool to check out. And there was actually quite a few people just like checking the place out. So I didn't feel as weird as like going to a cemetery to like look around, but it's like a pretty popular tourist attraction. Anyways, now I'm headed over to an area with more modern architecture.
Good morning, it is my last full day here in Italy and of my entire month-long Europe trip, which is absolutely wild to me. I'm currently here in my hostel room. Two of my hostel roommates checked out today and they're all already left for the day. It's almost 8 a.m. right now and I'm about to head out for my day as well, but I got to meet my roommates last night and they're honestly all so sweet. They're from Canada, US, and the UK. And I went out for drinks with the other Canadian, which was so much fun and we got to chat and get to know each other, which was awesome and we're from like really close places outside of Toronto. So that was really fun to hang out with another Canadian on this trip. I feel like it's a very rare occurrence when I meet somebody who's also from Canada. So it's really fun when we get to like bond over that. That was a really fun night. We all just chatted and got to know each other. I love staying in hostels for that reason. But yeah, I'm about to head out for my day now. I booked a train that's going to take me from Milano Centrale to Como at 8.43. And that's gonna take around 40 minutes to get there. And then I'm I'm going to be taking a ferry from Como to Bellagio, which is like the beautiful town on Lake Como that everybody goes to. And I'm taking the slow boat, which my friends Claudia and Ariane recommended to me because they already did a day trip to Como because you get like the views of the water and it takes like over two hours, but it's apparently totally worth it. And that's a big attraction. So I already booked tickets for that because they said that booking tickets when you're there is a pain in the ass. So I'm very excited to head over there. And then I booked my return ferry from Bellagio to Como and then my train ride back from Como to Milan for tonight. So I had the big stuff planned, but I haven't really done any research about what to do there. I just know it's beautiful. So I'll do some research while I'm on the train and on the ferry ride maybe. But yeah, that's all I have planned for today, but I'm really excited to check out Lake Como because I know it's just like beautiful. Plus George Clooney lives there. So you know, it's gotta be nice. So I'm about to head out for my day. Hopefully gonna grab a quick bite at the train station because I'm gonna be on like transportation for the next few hours. So maybe go to the Cafe Napoli that I went to right before we left for Cinque Terre. I will take you along with me for my entire day of going to Como and I'm very excited. Also, just a quick note before I go, the freaking mosquitoes here in Italy are crazy vicious. Like all my hostel roommates have been complaining about how many bites they've been getting. I have like 15 huge bites. They don't really itch, which is kind of nice, but they're humongous. It happened in Cinque Terre and still in Milan. Like the Italian freaking mosquitoes are just crazy. So bring bug spray <laughs> if you have it because Oh my gosh, I'm literally just out here getting eaten alive. Just made it here to Como. I'm heading over to the ferry terminal right now to get on the next ferry which is at 9.50. I have about 15 minutes but I see the lake now. It's so beautiful. So excited to explore. ferry here from Bellagio. It only took like 15-20 minutes. Currently here in Villa Monastero and they have these beautiful botanical gardens that trace the edge of Lake Como here. As you can see behind me, it's absolutely gorgeous. I've just been walking along it for like a while now so I need to turn back because I need to catch my ferry later back to Bellagio and then from Bellagio back to Como. So I'm gonna head back soon but I'm just enjoying this absolutely gorgeous view from here. It's so beautiful.
back in Milan after a very fun day trip at Lake Como today. Today I got to Como by train. It took like 40 minutes and then I took a two and a half hour ferry ride on the lake. It was beautiful. Honestly, like that's like the main attraction is the ferry ride. It was only 10.40 each way from Como to Bellagio. And then I also bought tickets from Bellagio to Verena. I ended up checking out both Bellagio and Verena. And they were beautiful, but like the ferry ride is really like what you're going for. So definitely take like the slow ferry and just enjoy the views along the way. You pass by so many small little towns. On my way there, I met a girl from London who's working in the UAE and we got to chat for a little bit. And then on my way back from Varena to Como, I met this couple that's from New York and we were chatting as well and they're really sweet. But most of the day I just spent solo traveling in Bellagio and Varena. But yeah, I'm back in Milan now. I made a reservation for this restaurant, this really popular pasta restaurant that I'm headed to right now. And I made a reservation for like 9 p.m. because that's the only time that they had available and I just walked past it and there's like a really long line out the door. So I'm glad I made the reservation and I'm gonna head over there now to eat some pasta and then probably head back to my hostel for the night. Just had a delicious dinner at Miss Goosey. I think that's what the place is called. It was very busy even at 9 p.m. There was a long line even when I left. Definitely make a reservation if you want to try it. It is very popular. They basically just do like a bunch of different pastas. I got their most popular one, which the server recommended, which was like the Tre Colores, which is like the three color pasta. I don't know what the type of pasta is called, but it's like in tomato sauce. And then it has like this layer of like cheese. And then on top is pistachio cream, which is really interesting. I've never had pistachios on my pasta before. Don't really know how I feel about it, but I finished it. Don't know if I would order again though but still it's pasta in italy i'm not going to complain about it so now i'm headed back to my hostel probably go to bed and then tomorrow is my last day the metro system here is really nice where you can just like tap your credit card on the machine instead of buying a ticket which i've learned yesterday from my roommate so it's kind of like new york system which is really cool i am back to my hostel room and i just wanted to take this time to talk about my hostel that i've been staying at it's called yellow square milan this they have a few locations across italy they have them in rome milan and florence which is written on my little wristband here. It has been an excellent, excellent hostel. I've met some really lovely people here. They have a bar downstairs. They have a kitchen. Apparently the food is good according to my friends Claudia and Ariane. They have like daily events that are always going on. Right now they had like a Navili night walk so a bunch of people just went out. I think that's where my roommates are right now. But yeah they organize a bunch of activities like this to get to know people. There's like a really nice common room and like relaxation room and there's like a co-working space. Even a hairdresser and stuff in here which is wild. There's like a safe in all of our bunks which is really nice and I Everything has just been lovely so far so I just wanted to give them a shout out and also they have like a code that you can use when you're if you want to book it it's yellow forever not sponsored or anything I just use that code to get like I think it was like 10% off or something when I booked through their website because it's much cheaper that way so if you're in Rome Milan or Florence check out yellow square hostel I've had an excellent three nights here and I am sad to be leaving tomorrow but I am gonna go shower get ready for bed and then tomorrow I need to check out I think at 10 and then I have to catch my airport bus to the airport from Milano Centrale so I will see you in the morning good morning it is my last day here in Milan or in Italy and of my entire trip and I'm really sad to go I'm currently at Milano Centrale because when am I not here honestly I'm literally here all the time I checked out and I was thinking of leaving my stuff at the hostel because my bus that I'm taking to the airport leaves at like 11.45 so I have a little bit of time between 10 and 11.45 but I just decided to take my stuff and come here because the bus leaves from here and I'm going to go find some place to eat. I want to check out this like market that they have in the station and try to grab some food here so I'm just going to hang around the central station area with all my stuff and everybody here has like luggage and stuff so I don't feel weird carrying this around but I'm gonna go try to find this market and grab some food and that'll be my last meal in Italy which I'm really sad about so it better be a good one.
airport here. I am eating my last daily gelato. This one's from Chocolati Italiani, which is one of the chocolate shops that I've tried gelato from before and it was really good. And they always put chocolate in your cone, which is really cool, like liquid chocolate from these fountains that they have in their stores. So I'm a big fan. Anyways, I got this gelato and picked up a bunch of souvenirs for my family. They're all in the studio here, right? But I got a limoncello, some cookies for my grandma, and a risotto alla milanese to try to cook at home. Italy has been an absolute dream, as expected. Everything everybody says about Italy is right. That's why there's so many tourists here. But yeah, I've had so much fun. Got to practice and learn a little bit of Italian while I was here. Overall, Italy has been absolutely gorgeous. Milan is a beautiful city, but there's not that much to do there, so I think like like one day is honestly enough to see most of the attractions there but it's a good spot to use as like a base for other trips like you can do a day trip to like Como like I did and even use it to go to Cinque Terre which is also what we did but yeah it's Italy like the food's always amazing the views stunning I'm really sad to be leaving Italy and finishing my entire Europe trip this has been literally the best month of my life and I met so many incredible people along the way I've seen so many amazing places and learned so much about all like the different cultures there which is really cool after this trip i'm completely addicted to solo travel kind of sad to be going home right now i'm just flying from milan right now to keplavik airport which is in iceland and i have my flight back to toronto so that is what i have for the rest of my journey of flying today